go to Southside and say, are you tired of schools that don't succeed, neighborhoods that are violent, and no jobs? And then sit down and say, and the first time you go, people aren't going to believe you. And the second time, they're not really going to believe you. But by the third time, six or eight are going to believe you. And there might be 30 in the room. I used to go to rooms that had five people. That's what you have to do to create a majority. But eventually, over time, they realize the other side has no answers. The other side's not going to improve anything. And if we're not careful, the other side is going to turn the whole country into Detroit. And then we'll all be uneducated, we'll all be poor, and we'll all live in dangerous places. And that's a tragedy for every American, and we shouldn't tolerate it. Copenhagen, in its current form, is a fraud by the left around the world to take power away from people and give it to government and bureaucrats. And it is a combined effort by the bureaucrats and the academics to take power away from free people and turn them over to an international organization. And it is going to be a disaster. And we should be committed to not implementing Copenhagen in its current form under any circumstance. If, if the left manages to drive through a bill which is opposed by 65% of the country on health care, our commitment should be simple. The minute we get a majority, we're repealing the whole thing. And I want every Democrat who's about to sacrifice their seat for socialized medicine to understand, after you lose your seat, you're going to lose the socialized medicine, too.